and welcome back to Race Recap. My name is Jackson. This past weekend, we had all three series racing at Circuit of the Americas. The truck series ran 41 laps around CODA's 20-turn track. There was no caution when 16 of Austin Hill spun. There was no caution when Haley Deegan and Tate Fogelman made contact in turn 20. The first real caution was the Stage 1 winner of Todd Yellen. The second caution is the Stage 2 winner of Ben Rhodes. There was no caution when the 75 of Parker Kligerman spun. There was no caution when the 19 of Derek Krause spun. Again, there was no caution when the 52 of Stuart Friesen spun. And lastly, there was no caution when Chandler Smith spun and got off into the grass. And the checker flag in this race went to the 38 of Todd Gillen. Great job from Todd. The top 10 and the truck race were Todd Gillen, Kaz Grawl, a great finish for him as well. Tyler Ankrum, Grant Enfinger, Sheldon Creed, Sam Mayer, Carson Hotzevar, Zane Smith, Austin Hill, and Ben Rhodes ran out top 10. Only one DNF in this race, it was the 98 of Christian Eckes who had a suspension problem. The Xfinity Series ran 46 laps at Coda. The first caution was 13 of Boris Sedd stalled on track. There was no caution when the 9 of Noah Gregson stalled. The second caution was the Stage 1 winner of AJ Allmendinger. There was no caution when 26 of Chris Wright spun and made contact with the 19 of Brandon Jones. The third caution was when the 44 of Tommy Joe Martins blew an engine. There was no caution when the 19 of Brandon Jones spun again. The fourth caution was the Stage 2 winner of Kyle Busch. And there was no caution when the 98 of Riley Herb spun after making contact and spinning out the 2 of Maya Snyder. And the checkered flag of this race went to Kyle Busch. The top 10 here were Kyle Busch, AJ Allmendinger, Justin Allgaier, Kevin Harvick, Austin Sindri, Harrison Burton, Cole Custer, Tyler Reddick, Justin Haley, and Jeb Burton ran out top 10. A few DNFs in this race, Chris Wright had the engine problem, Timmy Hill also had an engine problem, Miguel Paluto had a rear gear issue, Tommy Joe Martin was out for an engine problem, and Noah Gregson also out for the engine problem when he brought out no caution. The Cup Series ran a lot more laps than the Xfinity Series, 68 laps around Coda. That took a while. The first caution was when the 99 of, Dar of Daniel Suarez stalled on track. He was able to get back out, though, just a transmission issue. There was no caution when the 11 of Denny Hamlin spun. There was no caution when the 53 of Garrett Smithley spun. The second caution was the stage one winner of Joey Logano. There was no caution when the 6 of Ryan Newman spun. There was no caution when Ryan Blaney spun. But the third caution was when Ryan Blaney was getting back on track. There was lots of wet weather around Coda that day, but they were able to race because it's a road course and they can race in the rain. So it was unclear to see where the spinning Blaney was, and he ended up getting hit when he came back on track by the 20 of Christopher Bell. And Kevin Harvick checked up and was hit in the back by the 23 of Bubba Wallace. The fourth caution was another example of not being able to see, but much more scarier. The 34 of Michael McGow slowed on track. And the 19 of Martin Trex Jr. couldn't see out his front windshield due to the wet weather and rammed into the back of the 34 of McDowell. Martin Truex Jr. was trying to get off course, but the 41 of Cole Custer could not see the slowing Truex Jr. and ended up hitting in the back of him. Fortunately, everyone was okay in this wreck. There was no caution when the double zero of Quinn House spun, and the fifth caution was for the stage two winner of Kyle Busch. There was no caution when Ricky Stenhouse Jr. spun and was hit in the back by the double zero of Quinn Howe and the 15 of James Davidson also spun. There was no caution when the 8 of Tyler Reddick spun. And there was no caution when the 33 of Austin Sendrick spun. And the sixth and final caution was for standing water on track. And during that standing water red flag accident, that NASCAR called the race due to wet weather would be there all day and drivers it was too dangerous for them to be racing on track due to the lack of visibility. So NASCAR called the race and the checker flags went to the 9 of Chase Elliott. And the top 10 at the Cup Series at Coda were Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson, Joey Logano, Ross Chastain, AJ Allmendinger, Chase Briscoe, great finish for him, Michael McGowell, Alex Bowman, Tyler Reddick, and Kyle Busch round the top 10. DNFs in this race, Quinn Howe was out for the damaged vehicle policy, Martin Truex Jr. was out for the accident, so was Cole Custer, Kevin Harvick, Christopher Bell, and Bubba Wallace, and Justin Haley had a steering issue. Well, that's all for Race Recap. Come join us next week when we have all three series racing at Charlotte. And don't forget, there may be a live stream event from Charlotte. You'll have to keep watching Race Recap to find out.